Good morning, everybody. It's Gina with In the Kitchen with Gina Young. I'm back. And today, today I'm going to be making breakfast at the Young's house. This is not going to be a tutorial today. This is just kind of like a cook along with me, just to see what I'm cooking Saturday morning for my family. And so today, today I'm going to be making scrambled eggs with cheese. We're going to have biscuits. We're going to have turkey bacon. We're going to have Bob Evans sausage. We're going to have hash browns. I got the orange juice. Okay, so hey, listen here. I'm still in my pajamas. My hair is a mess, but who cares? We're going to have some good food this morning. So join me in my kitchen this morning. Okay, everybody, first thing that I want to do, I'm going to start, I'm going to get those biscuits in the oven, and I'm going to put a little bit of oil, guys, just a little bit of oil in my frying pan so I can start on my hash browns. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean, like I always like to say. I have my kitchen window open because it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day outside. The birds are chirping. There's barely any wind blowing and, and the, it smells so fresh and clean outside. All right, let's get started on these hash browns. Just a little bit of oil. If there's one thing that I hate, one thing that I hate is to have fried potatoes or hash browns that have a lot of oil in them. When I make my fried potatoes or my hash browns, all you need is a little bit of oil. Just a little bit goes a long way when you're making hash browns. Okay, and you want to make sure that your, um, make sure your oil's hot enough. That way you don't have uh, oily potatoes. Because if you don't heat that oil up, your potatoes are going to be oily. Let's get my biscuits out the refrigerator. I know, I know, I know I said this is not going to be a tutorial, and I'm going to try my hardest not to make this a tutorial, guys. Let's just, let's just kick it today. <laughs> but it's crazy because it's so in me. I'm using these biscuits today. It's in me to teach how to cook, you know, so it might be a little hard. You guys might laugh at me through this whole video because through this whole video, I probably will be telling you all how to cook things. <laughs> I'm going to try not to do it, though. I'm just putting my biscuits onto my platter that I like to bake my biscuits on. Preheat my oven to 350 for these biscuits. Honestly, guys, when I'm making biscuits, of course I know how to make homemade biscuits, but when I'm making them, I love to use the pre-made and you just throw those bad boys in the oven. And then, you know, a good 20, 25 minutes and they're done and they're perfect every time, you know? Like if I'm trying to fancy somebody out or impress somebody, then I'll make some homemade biscuits. But if I'm not trying to fancy nobody or, you know, anything like that, hey, I'm getting the biscuits in the can, I'm throwing them bad boys in the oven and they're gonna be just as good. Absolutely. Okay, my pan is nice and hot. So I'm just swishing the oil around a little bit. Let's get these hash browns going. I'm so excited for breakfast. I love a big breakfast Saturday morning. I love it. I love to feed my family. Big breakfast is on the weekend. Preferably Saturday. Sunday is just kind of a, a free-for-all, you know, maybe some scrambled eggs with cheese and toast. You know, I don't really do it really big Sunday morning, but Saturday morning, I like a big breakfast. I have some turkey bacon here that I'm making. Bacon. But here's the thing. 
If they like it, I love to make it for them. You know, that's just how I am. And of course, of course, I'll eat turkey bacon. Because it's not that I don't like it, but I just prefer, um, you know, the pork bacon. I thought about making the, uh, I thought about making the banana pancakes this morning, but I said, no, I'm not gonna make those today. Okay, I got my spatula out. And another thing that I like to cook for breakfast is my Bob Evans breakfast sausage. Let me show you. This here, the kind that you patty up yourself. Oh my goodness, I love it. And I'm just gonna make a few of these patties because we're having bacon too. So maybe I'll just make one per person. And I like to kind of smash them down a little bit so that they're not really thick, you know? Oh yeah. What are some of the things that you all are doing this weekend? Anything special? Are your kids out for school for um, spring break? Because Dakota is. He's out for a week and I'm so excited. I'm trying to figure out like what can we do? Because we don't have the greatest weather here. But today, today actually seems like it's going to be a nice day. So we'll just see. If it's nice enough, we were thinking about taking Dakota to um, Dave and Buster's. And I wanted to get him out like to a park or something so he can kind of run around, you know, and get some fresh air. you all one thing I wish I wish that we could have music on our YouTube channel I'm just pattying up my uh, sausage because if we could guys I would be blasting some old-school R&B right now and I'd be in this kitchen jamming it up right but you can't you can't play the music because of copyright reasons like I don't want them to shut my whole channel down just because I wanted to play music you know so let me wash my hands you all that know me anytime you deal with the raw meats you want to definitely make sure that you wash your hands so you don't transfer bacteria from that raw meat, okay? Be very mindful of that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and season up my, uh, my hash browns with a little bit of sea salt, just a little bit guys, don't get crazy with the sea salt. And some cracked black pepper. And then later, right before this is done, I like to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on it. Okay, I love, 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 love hash browns. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's bring you all a little closer to my um, stove so you can see what I got here. Okay, everybody, so you all can see what I got going on the stove here. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put these beautiful biscuits in the oven. Okay, get those in there just like so. All right, got our sausages, got the bacon going back here, and we're gonna make cheese eggs, and that's gonna be it, guys. I see like a little bit of yellow light. I don't know if it's, let's see, let's see. Should, I wonder if I should keep that light on or off. Let's see. We'll just play it by ear. I might turn it back on. <laughs> so breakfast is going. I got an orange here that I'm snacking on because it's a mandarin orange because I can't wait. I am starving this morning, guys. I got up probably about 8.30. Um, mm. Ooh, that orange is good. 
I got up probably around 8.30, anticipating that I, I actually wanted to sleep a little later, but that didn't happen. <laughs> it just didn't happen. Let's take a peek in at the bottom of our hash browns here. See if we have any golden brown. Oh, we do. We have some golden brown. Okay, and just be very gentle. These are simply hash browns. I believe that's what they're called that comes in the green bag that I absolutely love. You know, with these hash browns, you don't have to grate them yourself, right? And they're delicious every time. All you have to do is season these bad boys up, put you a little bit of oil on there, and you're set. Oh, yeah. Just wait till they get nice and golden brown. Okay, so there's those. And then let's take a peek in at our sausage here. Let's see if we have any color at the bottom. Not quite, so I'll turn it back over. I'm just doing a couple sausages, not too many this morning. I got my coffee over here done. I'm going to have a cup of coffee, and I'm going to put a cinnamon stick in my coffee. And I'm going to put a little bit of cream in there. Oh, yeah. Let's turn my bacon up a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and turn these sausages over. These sausages are nice and golden brown. Ooh, they look delicious. I'm gonna bring them over to you all so you can see. This beautiful color that I've achieved. Let's see if you all can see. I don't want them to fall out of the pan though. Can you all see, isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, baby. Gina, what are you doing? Well, I'm putting a little tiny bit more oil in my um, uh, in my hash browns, okay? And it was just a little tiny bit. Don't get crazy with the oil, guys. Nice golden brown color, beautiful. When I cook my um, biscuits, I always put my biscuits on 350. I never really read the directions on what temperature you're supposed to cook those biscuits on. Because when I make mine, I want mine on 350. And so that's what I do. Because when I cook them on 350, they turn out perfect every time. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. This orange, this orange is really satisfying me. Otherwise, I wouldn't make it through this video without picking on it, bacon and everything. in the freezer but I was thinking like if I put my orange juice in the freezer I'll forget about it and then you know I'll get some water I really wanted orange juice this morning I just have to remind myself to take it out of the freezer oh yeah Ooh, these sausages look good my goodness Maybe I'll make some, uh, maybe tomorrow for breakfast, I'll make the banana pancakes with just like some, some Bob Evans sausage. So maybe that'll be our breakfast for tomorrow. When you're making hash browns, Make sure when you bring them home from the store, don't freeze them. 
I don't like to freeze mine because I feel like once they fall out, they're smushy when you make them. So what I do when I bring mine home, I get the kind that are in the, um, they're like in the lunch meat section where the hot dogs are, or uh, like where the breakfast meat is. And what I do is when I bring them home, I put them in my refrigerator. And when I'm ready to cook them, I cook them. I never put those shredded hash browns in the freezer because they always turn out smushy. Wiping my stove down a little bit. That salsa just got some oil in it. It's popping. Oh yeah. All right, I'm going to turn those salsa just down because they're actually just about cooked. And the bacon is doing great as well. I don't have to really mess with the bacon until I see it, you know, start to get nice and golden brown at the bottom and then just flip it and you're done. go get a few things because I want to do um, two other videos. So I want to do two other videos this morning or the, late this afternoon. I'm going to show you all how, to, how I make my deviled eggs. And then also, I wanted to show you all, I think it was Debbie Altman. I, I think it was Debbie Altman that had asked me during the last Super Chat that I did to do the spinach dip. And so we're going to do spinach dip today. And I'm so excited about that because I have the best recipe for spinach dip and the best recipe for deviled eggs. So make sure you all uh, check those videos out today because they're going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen the request for the um, spinach dip. Sometimes I might not be able to respond or respond to you all, but I see the requests and I write them down and I, and I um, check over the messages after I do the live chat and I check over um, all of any messages that you guys have um, messaged me and asked for different requests. I always write that stuff down. So sometimes you all think just because, you know, maybe I didn't... Um, respond that I didn't get your message. I get your message. I get your messages. Absolutely I do. Woo, he softened this baby. Oh yeah. Looking good. Baby, they're looking good. Look at this. Nice, beautiful sausages. Nice and juicy, right? Oh, yeah. And what I like to do is actually, right away, I'll clean my pan. And that way I don't have to do it later, you know? I wash my pan as soon as I can. And this way, I don't have to do it later. I don't have to worry about washing dirty dishes because I've already got it done. I clean up as I go, like you have to. If you don't, at least if I don't clean up as I go, I go crazy. 
because I'm not comfortable eating when the kitchen is a mess and I'm worrying about having to clean up after I'm done eating. So I like to clean as I go. Always. So that pan that we just used for the sausage, it's clean. It's out the way. I'm going to go ahead and turn this bacon because this bacon looks beautiful. Woo wee, it looks good. All right, let me lift this up just a little. Some of you all say, how does she wipe her stove down while it's hot like that? Guys, seriously, I'm going to be honest with you. I just be very careful because, yes, you can burn yourself. But we're on the part that's hot. I don't touch that part. Or if I do, I just go across it very lightly. You know, some of you are like, oh, my gosh, Gina, you drive me crazy when you're wiping that hot stove off. But I just be very careful. That's all I do. All right, I'm turning my bacon just like so. Checking in on our beautiful hash browns. And I can see that the um, biscuits are looking beautiful in the oven. Oh yeah, I've got some orange marmalade that we're gonna spread over our biscuits. If I can find it, guys. Oh yeah, here it is. I got, it's bittersweet orange marmalade. Look at this. We're gonna spread that on our biscuits. Ooh -wee. Okay everyone, we have our beautiful hash brown. See that? See that beautiful golden brown crisp on the top? Okay. We have our turkey bacon. And of course, I've showed you all the sausages already. And I'm not going to lift the biscuits up because they're on a hot platter right now. Okay? Along with our marmalade preserves that we're going to use. So now, let's meet me over at my... Um, Meet me over at my stove and let's make our eggs and we're complete. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead. You see I have a pan here. I'm going to go ahead and crack some eggs. Just like so. And I did sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on, I did sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on my hash browns right, right at the end. And I do it at the end because... If you do it earlier on in the process of cooking the hash browns, what I feel like happens is the garlic powder will burn. So I just sprinkle just a little bit on at the very end, and it gives it such a great flavor. Oh yeah. Dakota's cleaning his bedroom. My husband is cleaning our bedroom. And we're gonna get some housework done after breakfast probably turn some good music on five one two three four five i think i'm gonna go ahead and do six eggs this morning six should be enough and when i make my eggs those of you that seen me make eggs in the past let me put these eggs away those of you that seen me make eggs in the past i don't put any fillers in my eggs. I don't like to put um, cream, milk, or water in. I just kind of, I'll, I'll show you all how I like to make mine. Because there's a certain way to make eggs, and scrambling them in your pan is not one way. <laughs> I feel like it messes the egg up. But you all that haven't seen my how-to make scrambled eggs video, check it out because it's awesome. And it's so interesting. It's, it's, um, it really teaches you the correct way to make scrambled eggs. And once you learn that technique, you have the best eggs ever. Okay, you wanna whip, get you some, whip you some air in those eggs. 
Okay, just like so. You want to whip the whites and the yellows all together. There should be no white streaks going through your eggs. When you have scrambled eggs, you want to make sure it's all yellow. Okay, let's go in with some butter. Butter, butter, butter. Okay, I like to put a nice amount in mine. And I'm only going to use a soft spatula today. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for breakfast this morning. That orange didn't satisfy me. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's whip it one more time. And I have this on a medium-high heat. Oh yeah. Kind of let it set up a little bit just like so and we're not going to put any sea salt or any seasoning in until the very end i'm just washing my bowl that i uh, mix my eggs up in and i've already washed my pans that i cooked the food in as well this way i ain't gonna have no dishes when i'm done and then when everybody's done eating, all they have to do is wash their own plate. And the kitchen is done. Okay, once the eggs start setting up, I'm going to turn my eggs up a little bit. Never turn your eggs up on high. Never do that. Once the eggs start to set a little bit, you can start to um, pull your eggs in just like so. This is the only motion that you'll see me doing during this cooking process. It looks like it needs to heat up a little bit more, okay? Okay, everyone, let's start to pull our eggs in just like so. That's my water that you hear in the background because I'm doing what little bit of dishes I have. I'm getting those done. Okay, so just pull your eggs in just like so. Don't season them. Not yet, guys, because if you put salt in your eggs, you'll have watery eggs. Some of you didn't know that, right? Yes, the, the uh, salt will draw the water out that's in the eggs, and we don't want that. We don't want any watery eggs, right? No, we don't. I'm just making new soapy water. Okay, let's peek in. Let me uh, wipe my hands down a little with the paper towel. And then repeat the same process. Just pulling them in, pull them in, make them nice and fluffy. You see that? Oh yeah, you see that. Nice fluffy eggs over here. And then I'll tell you the proper time that we should put our uh, cheese in. Because we're going to turn these into cheese eggs. Mm, beautiful. Oh yeah, baby. Now I'm getting excited. Woo-wee! I'm not going to put any cracked black pepper. If they want black pepper, they can put it on their cell. Now we're going to go ahead and flip them so the bottoms don't get brown. Okay? Pull that yolk in. Remember, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> this is not a tutorial, guys. <laughs> I love making, there's something about making eggs that's really satisfying to me. Okay, now's the proper time. You can go ahead and put you some salt in, guys. Not too much. Don't get crazy with the salt now, okay? That's perfect. And then now is also the time that you can start to fold in some cheese. My husband doesn't like shredded cheese in his. Um, he likes the creaminess of the 
Uh, this is a Kraft Singles cheese that I'm using today, but he likes that creaminess that other cheese give rather than um, the shredded cheese. So no shredded cheese on our eggs today. Okay, and then we're just going to see this. Beautiful. Just put your cheese on the end and start to fold. And you have beautiful, beautiful, tasteful, tasty cheese eggs 101. Hey, listen here. If you've never had these before, you better make you some. You better make you some, guys. I know I'm crazy. I get silly in here. But I'm having so much fun. I am. I am. I'm having so much fun sharing my recipes, my family's recipes, and things that we like to do here at the Young's with you all. So good morning, and I hope you all have a very blessed Saturday. Let's get a plate. A plate for my beautiful eggs. You don't want to overcook them, and I will actually, I'm going to give you all a close-up so you can see what these beautiful eggs look like. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo, they're beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. They're going to be excited. And this is my last pan that I have to wash. I'm going to do just that. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, here's what our scrambled eggs look like. Oh, yeah. That's what you want your scrambled eggs to look like. Nice and fluffy and cheesy. Hooey! Okay, everyone, you can see I got the dishes done. The kitchen is nice and clean. Now let's grub down, guys. Oh, my goodness. Let me show you uh, my table. And I didn't forget my orange juice, <laughs> so I'm happy about that. And as always, hey, listen here. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night.